how to mod the Tesco VCUP15. First thing we need to do is to remove the bracket that comes over the brushes here. Once a bracket is removed, there are six screws. One, two, three, four, five there and six there. You will find that this is the rotor here for the brushes and the belt. In order to make this hoover work of a multi services you'll need to remove this brush system here. You'll find that the belt here comes onto the spindle of the motor so you just need to slip it off. You might need to use um, a tool just to gently remove that from there. A screwdriver would probably do and get the belt off. Once off, remove the belt and the brush. With the belt and brush removed you're now able to fix your hoover so that it will work properly. The first thing you will find when you're hoovering with these is they are far too powerful 700 watt motor. The only way to fix it I found is to put a, a length of material padding along this edge that's the leading edge of the hoover. For the purpose I found clean as a whistle or purpose cloths from Wilco were exactly the right size for the job. You will also need other things. The other material that would work for the job is thick floor cloth which can be purchased from discount shops such as Poundworld or Poundland. And you can see that it's padded. The job needs to be done with a piece which, which will be 30 centimetres across and rolled over. As you can see the Wilco all-purpose cloth with com which comes in a pack of 10 is perfect for the job. All I've got to do is once I've put the bracket back onto the vacuum fold this across making sure that the width is about a centimetre maybe a bit less and just keep folding as I go along. In fact you can just roll it along really like so and the idea is to make a thick wadding that will go along the front bar of the vacuum and raise it up because the suction is just far too powerful and this is what causes the problems and this is the design for there you go, all done there. Before I secure this cloth across the front edge of the vacuum, I need to make sure that it's placed in the right position here. So with this, you'll need to put your screws back on where they came from. So you've got six screws, one, two, three, uh, four, five underneath. You'll see when I move this thing there, there's also a screw there that goes there and six there's one down the bottom there. Once they're back on put your screws back on then get your cloth which is to go on the leading edge fold it over on the front there like so. What you'll then have to do is cut lengths of tape. Here we are just putting the screws back in where they came from and there's six of them okay shouldn't take you too long and you've taken your brush device out which is completely useless you will find in most places it will catch on fabric and heat up and then start to burn and you'll have this horrible burning smell with the motor just get rid of the rotor it just does cause too many problems the main fault with these vacuums is they have no height adjustment and no power adjustment so you can't control the power of suction and it's too powerful and also the brushes themselves get caught and tangle up all sorts of things in your house whether it be the bottoms of curtains or materials or tablecloths and things like that and you'll have a horrible burning smell so I got rid of mine straight away before the motor burned out right so I'll just check my tightening there back I go make sure they're secure only two more to go the last screw is a bit uh, iffy this locking lever here you need to bring it back and put your screw into that little hole there okay and then you've got to just get your Phillips they're all Phillips these ones and away you go tighten it up then that's that's the last of your six and then you put your bracket back on make sure you hold that bracket back okay so I can let that go now Next you cut three strips of your uh, 3M tape here. Here I've used uh, scissors here to cut them and then you're ready to secure your disc cloth in this case to the leading edge of your vacuum. So with it folded over and placed straight against that you just pick up each strip 
okay so you can see that they fit on the gap so leaving enough room here at the top edge roll it across and compress the strip of cloth here and tuck it underneath you should feel that it should hold there that's one done okay and then you can move along and do the next one again leave enough there at the lead, over the leading edge there tuck it over and underneath maybe 10 centimeters might be better than eight for instance but it, I can see it is holding underneath here I can always put another strip to hold it and then the last one here on this gap here for the first go at this repair to or mod if you like to a Tesco vacuum there you go and it's held basically now now it's not quite ready now because as you can see where the actual rotor was here on the belt you'll have to cut another strip up but this this time a bit thinner if I cut a strip which is longer say about 12 to 14 centimeters this this piece here um, I would personally just get it right in the middle of your dishcloth okay so you've got it along the length wrap it tight over the side of your vacuum right then secure it on the leading edge there okay and where it is underneath here you could make two little nicks one there and one there that way you're getting around the obstacle of where the belt on the vacuum was one little nick there and another one just there of course you need a decent pair of scissors which would help for me if i did but there you go done it and i can then tuck that there that goes along here and this piece here should then tuck under make sure they're secure underneath and, and just add a bit of extra tape say starting from the middle of the pad if you feel you need some more i'm going to do the same and put a strip along say from here to here and and secure it over this edge as well this tape is also called duct tape okay and basically i'm going to go to this end as well okay so get right in the middle of the pad about there ish yeah do the leading edge of your vacuum smoothly down over the edge here secure it there and as you can see there's a couple of rungs across here just make a little nick there where there's an obstacle and you can then tuck your tape underneath okay the job that this is doing is raising the vacuum up it's taking away some of the excess suction allowing it to operate properly without the rotor you can see here if a point this is where your dust and dirt goes in to the vacuum okay so I've unobstructed now this will be much more efficient than it would be with the rotor arm and it's not going to burn the motor because that was the problem with the rotor on these you will see what the uh, what the engineering problem is on the tesco models which which are for sale even now there's no control on the, on the top of this to alter the height the competitors many of them and i'll list who they are produced beautiful models probably made in the same factory as this one but they actually had height adjustments this is where tesco went wrong however i'm stuck with this one i don't have the receipt and i had to get it working so i've modded it this was the first mod i did that actually worked and, and i was then happy because it has got a powerful motor and it works so if i cut a strip which is say about 14 inches long using my less than adequate scissors but of course you'll have better ones than me i'll show you what i'll do to sort of neaten it off a bit okay so going back to the bar which is saving the life of this vacuum overlap about equidistant either side maybe a bit more on the right hand side okay so i'm going over the whole of the job here folding over the sides catch the leading edge there and again you'll have to use your scissors to make little nicks in any obstructions along the way as you can see you can see yourself can't you if you look underneath here where you need to make little cuts there one there one there one there and one there so i'll just get on with doing that now with your cuts made you simply get the material the uh, 3m duct tape and you just tuck it around and underneath because right underneath it needs to be stuck right underneath you'll find that you'll, you know you'll be up right up against the curb as you can see where my fingers are going right underneath yeah there okay and then stick it on this leading on this edge here and then there's a bit there's tucked under so you haven't got any free edges flapping around okay so it needs to be nice and neat just about done there really this job and what this has done is provided a buffer 
the Wilco clean as a whistle all purpose all purpose cloths one of okay has done the job and saved the life of this vacuum okay now looking at this lead this is the leading edge of your vacuum you might just want to put belt and brace it and put a strip another strip just across it there because it will really get battered in use okay so I'll cut another another length here about 30 centimeters okay and just run that so I can't see any of the dishcloth at all to give it a much more professional finish if you like okay you wouldn't win any prizes for appearance on this vacuum but the thing is I didn't have my receipt of course you can always add a little bit more tape along but make sure as you can see that you tuck it right under the leading edge of your Tesco vacuum here is a view from underneath so job all done all complete and as you can see from this angle here I've managed to raise up the actual front bar of the vacuum to the point where it's now not gripping too hard on the carpet and just correct and you can see that this is the part here that's where all your dirt and dust goes down there and then up the tube the dust extraction system has a three litre container here as you can see which can be easily emptied and there's three other parts to it the top of this filter here will need to be bright the dust container then just simply clips back on as you can see ready for work here we are with the demo as you can see there, there's the repair on the front of the vacuum I'm going to clear up some mess which is beneath me on a riding along there you see and it's got swivel on it as well so you can swivel and it's not too tight on the floor it's not drawing So hopefully you'll have a successful and happy time with your Tesco Hoover and you won't get any of those burning problems that you get with the rotating device because it will be long gone. A further modification I made was adding an, an existing vacuums hose attachment. This was a bagged vacuum as you can see it, it attaches on very easily to the end of the Tesco vacuum like so flush. Then on the end of this you can either have it as is if you want a crevice tool use the one from the Tesco and you've got an extension crevice tool um, if you want to do upholstery this goes on to the end of this one here as you can see and that will fit into that so then you've got upholstery tool and finally if you prefer the old-fashioned type of drag along hoover with a bagged hoover you can sort of go for, go for that idea and use an old attachment and this one here has the bristles on it here to adjust the height so that way, if I turn this on, if you prefer working from sitting down, for instance, you can go along and clean the carpet that way.